Hey guys, this is Steve with uh, Mylan Flyers. I am in the Microsoft Flight Simulator here. And kind of a nice day, a little bit windy. I'm going to attempt to fly from here to our uh, RC flying field in Mylan. And uh, I have little idea what I'm doing. A little idea, so maybe it'll it'll work. So I'm going to switch us into the uh, into the cockpit view here of the Bell the Bell helicopter. And first thing we got to do is we're in a um, everything's powered off, so we got to do a cold start on this. Um, I mostly don't know what I'm doing, but I can probably it's a simulator, so it's probably not as hard as real life, right? I should be able to figure it out. So first thing we're going to need is battery power. You can see the wind's just moving the blades out there a little bit. So we'll turn on the battery. And I'll just kind of mouse over these one by one to see. Some will be obvious that we're going to want them for the startup. Sure, we'll turn on the, the usual outer hazard warning lights and things. One of them I'm looking for here is the avionics. There's a switch to turn all the radios and things on. I think. Yep, yep, that one. And then down here we have... Got the fuel valve. I just turned it off. I guess they leave it on. So at this point I think we can start this up. And again, I'm not sure where to set, I'm going to guess set the throttle to idle, hold down the start. And I don't know if this is a, uh, I'm guessing this is a computer start, so you probably just hit that once. Right. Then the computer takes care of the, uh, the whole start sequence and everything. Yeah, that makes life a little easier, not having to twiddle with the throttle and fuel on this as you're cranking the starter and this is all being done by the uh, the engine controller on the helicopter I'm just sitting back and waiting. I think it'll just it'll stabilize at some point here. Nothing's turning red, that's good. So that's good. Where's the oil temp, oil pressure, all everything look good? I'm just looking for red, really, but everything looks pretty good. Everything sounds good. Everything feels good. That's what we want, the feels. All right, I'll bring this up to flight idle, which I think is 90%. It's also got these. What's that? That must be emergency power if you need it. So in theory, this thing should be ready to fly. I'll do the obligatory air traffic control interaction here, which is pretty simplified in the sim. Let's see. We want to get out of here to the east and head for 23, I think. And Arbor Ground Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 with Mike Request Taxi for takeoff east departure. Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 24, via taxiway Alpha Bravo. Contact tower on 120 decimal tree when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 24 via taxiway Alpha Bravo 407. I do not have my airport diagram handy, but this is a... Uh the airport only has two ta three taxiways, I think. So it should be fairly easy to find. And we know we're going to 2-4. I 
That was pretty ugly. Need a lot more forward cyclic here before you give it power. And push him forward quite a bit just to get a kind of a stable hover. If you just give it uh, cyclic, it'll fall right back on its tail and bust it off. And then Microsoft Flight Sim classically doesn't seem to mark these taxiways very well at all. I don't know exactly what's what around here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is Alpha that we're on. Yep, see that? I can see it now, way, way down there. So we're supposed to take Alpha to Bravo. So that's... We're on Alpha, that's Bravo up in front of us. If you can read those signs. I can barely read them, but... This is touchy as heck, hovering this thing, too. So we're just coming, we're on Alpha, as marked there on our left. And we're coming up to Bravo here. And, gosh, this is tricky. So you always want to kind of get a look around here, make sure nobody's coming down the taxiway to smack into you right away. Sorry, this is really sloppy. I think it just takes a lot more time on the controls to get smooth and really good at it. I'm just using a cheap flight stick with the rudder on the twist. I'm not using foot I'm not using pedals. I don't know if it would be easier with pedals or more difficult, but I don't have pedals. I don't have good pedals. I have some really old pedals, but they're not really good. I don't think they're worth even hooking up. So we're just kind of taxiing down here to 2-4. Even though we requested depart to the east, they're making us kind of take off to the west. And I think they're expecting us to get into the pattern and then kind of fly out from the pattern and um, we are full multiplayer right now online so if anybody on the sim like Jeff Head gets on we, we, we would see him if he was close so So that is the uh, runway safety zone right there, that marker on the ground, and this is me hovering all over the place because I don't seem to have this down very well yet. Again, I want to kind of get, well, before I take off, I'll make sure nobody's coming, but let's see if we can set this down. There we go. Kind of slammed it down. And we'll call in for uh, takeoff clearance here. Arbor Tower Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 ready at runway 24 East departure. Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 altimeter 30 decimal 5 6 wind 317 at 6. Departure to the east approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 24. Cleared for takeoff runway 24407. So here we go. We're Let's get a look, make sure nobody's coming. They're supposed to be helping us with that, but we always want to take our own look there, make sure nobody's coming in the land without a radio. If you see that big building on the left, that's uh, Scott Johnson. He's on both those hangars now. Uh, he lives in Milan. Really cool guy. He's been to our flying field a couple times. So we'll just do our regular takeoff here, like we're an airplane. And 
we've got a bit of a crosswind there as you can see on the windsock quite a bit of one quite a bit of one radio call. And Arbor Tower, Bravo, Echo, Lima, Lima 407, continue for east departure. All right, so now I'm going to get into the, into the, into the pattern, and we'll just continue on out to the east. Gauge is actually kind of blurry. I'm using the roads more than I am to. The, normally, I just look down there and read those, but they're they are blurry. So we now are in our downwind. If I keep this thing under control. Flying it like an airplane. About a hundred knots there. Gosh, I don't know why those are so blurry. Just trying to get a better look at what I'm doing. And what I'm looking at has got a lot of glare or something there. So we are we are headed east. And we're still using the roads as a reference. Those are easier to see than the dials on this thing for some reason. And I got the hiccups. start to put some a little more south we'll start heading for 23 here that might be I think that is 23 yeah there's I'm trying to see if that's tw that, that might be 23 in Michigan Ave right there yeah that's the old defunct Mexican restaurant gas station right there I just nosed over it so so we are now going to follow 23 down to Milan Ann Arbor will be calling us as we're exiting their airspace here in a second. And as always, you want to look around for other traffic while you're whole time. I've not been doing that very well, but you're supposed to do that constantly. This is not VR. I'm, I am flying this on a single computer screen. Just using the hat on my joystick to kind of look around. You can also grab the mouse. You can also grab the mouse and look around. And you can zoom in and out with the mouse a little bit. I'm trying to get a view where I have a decent look out the window and these gauges aren't so blurry, but I think turning the lights down on those a little bit might make them clear, I'm not sure. That's supposed to be the light dimmer for those things. Really? It doesn't seem to... Oh, there we go. Don't know if that'll help any or not. And we, gained a, we gained a boatload of altitude during that, messing around with the lights. some airspeed here and some lose some of that altitude. Anybody recognize any of this stuff? I don't know what that is, but it's huge and I don't remember it driving around there at all, but it's big. We 
definitely got some airspeed now. And you can see the Mylan prison up there on our left coming up. And then if you see that little pond of water to our left, that's probably the one by our flying field and you see a little patch of grass there to the left of uh, prison. It's anyway, it's, it's over there. Let's kind of work our way that way. and We'll leave 23 here. flying over the prison. I still haven't decided how to come into the flying field yet. We're doing about a hundred knots here. See where the railroad tracks are coming up up there, and you see where the pond, their little mini lake is. Um, I don't know if our beloved FBI facility has been updated on this map much yet, or if any more recent updates have been done lately. And I'm just planning not to go over the prison. I don't want to be mistaken as a balloon. Mistaked. Definitely don't want to be mistaked. So yeah, you can see our, there's our flying field right in front of us there. And it'd be cool if we could actually see our uh, cut runway. Let me make sure I don't cross over the this side of their corner. It is. I don't see the definite cut runway, but what about the FBI stuff? Is it over there? I don't think it's showing up yet. They haven't. Yep, the new driveway and all that doesn't seem to be showing up in here yet. So I'm going to come out to about the road here and then I'll do a 180 and kind of bring it in over our field my thought. Am I doing that right or am I making people throw up? kind of want to come in through that gap there where the runway is. Let's get some forward speed here. We, did, we, needed to we need to modify this uh, scenery here to, to match our field. Who's up to it? That'd be fun. Um, where's our pavilion and all that? Is it there? There it is. There it is. It's our flying field. Look at the patch of the stuff over here. See how that looks. high up you see it better but there's probably a little bit of discoloring here a little greener than it really I think supposed to be
place we'll park, but we'll park off the flying field. It's a flying field, not a parking field. Definitely could use some uh, scenery updating here. I think we got our park parking lot shown a little bit over there and maybe some of the drive. Wanted to park here sort of kind of where we would normally park the vans. Just have it all set up for a nice takeoff over the flying field when we leave. I'm not going to run the video much longer, so it's going to be about it once we land. Ooh, grass is a little long here. I guess we're touching. Doesn't feel super level. Shut it down. Be cool to get the real controller that has the throttle and all that on the controller. are kind of a pain. Looking for a particular switch and can't find it. Not that one, but... for the uh, avionics, which I can't even find the darn thing. It's right here somewhere. Hmm. Weird. outside view. You can do that. Alright, that'll be it for now. You guys take care. Have fun.